garbage truck. So, so Jen and I are uh, here in London. We're trying to avoid people as much as possible. Look, there's a red double-decker bus. And uh, right next to us here is King's Cross Station. And uh, we're going for a bit of a wander around the town to see what we can see today. Another red double-decker bus up there. How exciting. So Jen and I are in London. Uh, we've just managed to get our SIM cards, which is great. Our phones work again, so our maps work and tell us where to go. So, yay. Um, we are making our way down to Westminster Abbey. Um, everywhere here costs so much money. Um, but what I found was that if you actually go to one of the services, uh, you can get in for free. So we're heading down to Westminster Abbey for their um, Evensong service, which starts at 3 p.m. today. So that's where we're going. Hopefully it all works out. It's walking down the beautiful tree-lined streets. Uh, it's a little bit noisy. There's a helicopter flying above somewhere, not far from here. Look at all the old buildings and the history. It's just awesome. Over in the distance there, you can see the London Eye. Big Ferris wheel over there, and that river just there is the Thames. The river that runs through London. We would go over and get a closer view, but we are on a time frame, and uh, we're running a little bit behind, so we have to keep focused. Just where we are here, New Scotland Yard. Head of the Metropolitan Police here in London. So this is Westminster Abbey here. We uh, just went to the Evensong program, and uh, yeah, it was quite amazing to be inside this historic old building. And. Uh, just to be able to see a program in there, to worship, to listen to the amazing choral music. And uh, yeah, beautiful place. After wandering around for a while, we've uh, made our way here through to St. James Park. Uh, a big park here in the middle of London. The, uh, the treasury building, oh, you can't see it very well, is just there. And uh, we're just going to go for a wander through the park and see what we can see. There's a fountain over there. People walking, dogs, and yeah. Some of the locals here who inhabit the park. Ducks. We just saw a pelican. There's a pigeon just there. And there's some white swans on the other side behind the, uh, the other side of the pond behind the tree here. Really nice weeping willow trees along the edge. Oh, and there's a squirrel up here as well. Or chipmunk. I'm not really sure what he is. He's so cute. So we've made our way through St. James Park to the end of it, and at the end of it is Buckingham Palace. And the Queen's home. The flag, the flag is, is up. up. Yep, the flag is up, so the Queen's home. In there somewhere. Hi Lizzie, it's your cousin. 16th cousin to the Queen. 16th cousin to Lizzie. <laughs> wonder if we knocked on the door whether she'd let us in. Probably not. <laughs> So this is the main gates of Buckingham Palace. We'll go up and we'll knock, see if they'll let us in. Hello. Hello. We're here. We've come over for a visit. No? Nope, nobody's coming to let us in. That's a little bit sad. Well, we've left Buckingham Palace and we're heading up the mall here. And uh, that was Jen, that little hiccup. Got to be 
at least one in every video that we do. <laughs> so we're heading up the mall here, uh, slowly making our way back to our hotel. And uh, we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us. It's about five k's or something like that back to where we're going, but we didn't walk much yesterday because of the plane. So yeah, anyway, but it's nice being out. It's uh, probably eight to 10 degrees. And uh, Jen just said walking around and sightseeing is much more fun when it's cold and cool. So. Anyway, uh, we're going to wander along and uh, we'll show you some more good sights if we can see some. Day two in London. We're just uh, leaving our hotel room. Thank you. And uh, we're heading out. We've got a, a bit of a plan today. We're going to try and uh, get down to Tower Bridge and have a look at that. Um, we're gonna try and do Evensong at St. Paul's Cathedral. There's Jen in the background, all set up, ready to go. So we'll try and do even some uh, this afternoon. That's at 3 p.m. at St. Paul's. So, and we'll see what else we can see along the way. Come along. This here is the Premier Inn at King's Cross Station. Um, we're directly across the road from King's Cross Station. This is our hotel that we're staying in. And uh, our room will be the end one on the third floor up there. So that's where we're staying. Come on down here. You'll see the uh, the red double-decker bus. The number 476 that says King's Cross Station. There it goes. Very cool. So we've made our way to the Tower of London. Uh, this is the visitor's centre and the ticket office just here. And then turning around here, this is the, uh, the area, or this is the Tower of London here. It was built in 1070, the tower right in the middle there. It was built in 1070, it's named the one in the middle there is called the White Tower, and that's what the whole uh, building is now named after, the Tower of London, uh, by William the Conqueror. He built that in 1070 as a secure royal fortress. Um, it was also a, uh, a royal palace, and there's uh, apartments that kings and queens can stay in. And uh, lots of things have happened here throughout the, uh, throughout the years. Uh, coronations have been held here, uh, executions have been held here. Uh, currently the crown jewels are kept in the vault beneath the Tower of London. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there, I'll zoom in a little bit, just so you can. They have robot lawn mowers to keep the lawn all mowed nice and neat. How cool is that? <laughs> Continually mows the lawn. Let's go! Along the garden walk here, there's lots of purple flowers and plants. Not sure why, but there, there's a lot of them and they're all purple. Maybe because purple is the colour of royalty, we're not sure if that's the reason that they're all there and they're all purple, but uh, yeah, it's just an interesting observation. The ancient thousand year old White Tower and Tower of London, and in the background you can see the Shard, the modern building towering into the skies there. Once you get to the eastern end of the, the walk here, the eastern end of the Tower of London, you can see Tower Bridge over there in the distance. And that's where we're heading to, Tower Bridge. So this is the, the London Tower Bridge. Finished in 1894, crosses the Thames, 
people often confuse it with London Bridge, but that's a, a different bridge further down the river. And uh, this one can open up for ships and things to, uh, to pass on through. We're going to walk across London, London's Tower Bridge. For £10.60 per person, you can climb the bridge and walk across the, uh, the upper skywalks there. Uh, we've decided not to do that. We're just trying to be a little bit frugal with our money. So we'll walk across the, uh, the, main, the main platform of the bridge here. The Thames River. Out over here, you can see the Shard over there. The HMS Belfast is the, uh, the warship that's out in the middle. That's a, a military museum out there, a naval museum. But, uh, yes, this is the south side there of the Tower Bridge. So this is walking along the main platform here of the uh, of the bridge and you might be able to see there's there's the the rail there there's nothing to stop you from jumping off I'm really surprised at that um, back home across the Sydney Harbour Bridge there's rails that go way above uh, head height uh, but here there's nothing at all stopping you. you if you wanted to jump you could just go and dive over the edge uh, I'm really really surprised kind of crazy. Um, that bridge that you can see in the distance down there, there, <laughs> uh, that's actually the London Bridge down there. We've just come to the south bank of the Thames here and walking along and this is the view of Tower Bridge here. How awesome does that look? That is so cool. across here, Tower of London, and then the new modern skyline. Walking along the South Bank Walk here, you can see people are kind of observing social distancing, but very few people are wearing masks. They're all crazy. Seriously, they should be wearing masks. It might be one in 20 if that was lucky. So. Anyway, Jen and I are here and we've got our masks on. So, with luck, we will be safe. This is the South Bank Walk of the Thames. This bridge that you can see just here is actually the London Bridge. This one was rebuilt in the 70s, the 1970s. Uh, I think it was finished around 1973. Uh, and it was rebuilt because London Bridge was falling down. Um, but this one here is London Bridge. We're going to head up and cross that one so that we can get a photo back up the river of Tower Bridge. So we've just walked across London Bridge. Well, we're on London Bridge at the moment and that's Tower Bridge up the end up there. Uh, that's the view that we walked here for. Well, we just caught a bus here up to St. Paul's Cathedral. We're going to attend the Evensong service, which starts in about half an hour, 25 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the only ways to get into the building for free. You can't wander around or anything. It's the same as Westminster Abbey where we were yesterday. You can't wander around or look too much, but uh, you do get to be inside and uh, and experience the uh, experience the choir and the music and uh, just uh, the amazing building that this is. This is out the front here of St Paul's Cathedral. Check out the massive building. It's just massive and amazing. buildings around it. 